Now to South Sacramento, where a street turned into a collision course for a driver in a high speed chase, and it all came to a crashing end on the front lawn of a home, with the suspect then barricading himself in a backyard shed. CBS 13 Steve Large has the tent standoff and how it finally came to an end. We'll take a look at the aftermath of this chase and standoff. The suspect drove through this fence, leaving it torn up in pieces. He created a danger zone here before finally giving himself up. They got him. Caught and cuffed. A CBS 13 camera capturing the moment. Sacramento Sheriff's deputies and CHP officers combined to take this suspect into custody following a standoff and a wild chase through South Sacramento streets. The led sheriff's SWAT team members and a canine unit to surround the house. A helicopter hovering overhead. Before he holed up in a backyard shed, he crashed his SUV through this fence, leaving debris everywhere. It, it can be bad, that can be really, really bad. Jose Sandoval lives next door and watched as the suspect drove over his lawn right by the swing sets his grandchildren use. So he make it all the way from here right through the yard and he tried to go that way, but it was uh, full of cars parking in the driveway. They came in and they said, you know, we'll be in here for a while and they were yelling to him in the yard and they took the dogs out there. 76 year old Mary Hamlet lives in the home where deputies arrived with guns drawn looking for the suspect in her backyard. I'm glad I'm OK, but I'm wondering because I said, could it last all night? And they said, well, potentially, but it probably won't. Deputies were right. That suspect finally giving himself up peacefully only after leaving the South Sacramento block strewn with debris. His crashed SUV giving everyone a glaring clue to his location. And one more look at the mess this suspect left behind. And tonight the CHP is saying this suspect also did have a gun on him. He's being identified as Tony Phillips and he's now charged with evading police and being a felon in possession of a weapon.